In this podcast, I'll describe some basic terms of electricity that you will need to know as we begin our unit. I'll break this up into three separate chapters. First, I'll discuss atoms, which make up everything and are crucial for electricity. In the second chapter, I'll discuss electricity as a form of energy. In the third chapter, I'll discuss terms that we need in order to experiment with electricity in our class. So what is electricity? We use electricity practically every day, and often without even thinking about it. But what is electricity? Electricity is actually a form of energy, the flow of electric charges, and it all starts with atoms. Atoms, which are too small to see, make up everything that is around us. They consist of protons, neutrons, and electrons. A proton is a part of an atom with a positive charge. An electron is a part of an atom with a negative charge. A neutron is the part of an atom with no charge at all, a neutral charge. To help you remember, think P for positive protons, E for those negative electrons, and N for neutral neutrons. To remember all of them, think of mnemonic device PEN, P-E-N, protons, electrons, neutrons. We'll discuss more about atoms later. Just know these key terms and properties for now. Electricity. Electricity is a form of energy, and there are actually different kinds of electricity. Current electricity is the flow of electrons through a circuit that gives off energy. It is from current electricity that we get energy to power our homes and electronic devices. Static electricity is when electrons gather on an object rather than flow. We know static electricity from how, say, a balloon will stick to your hair, or how you might even get static shock. You're probably pretty familiar with static electricity. A volt is the unit of measurement we use for electricity. You may be familiar with volts from different sized batteries, or even from chargers for your electronic devices. In order to make electricity flow, we need a conductor. A conductor is a material that allows the electricity to pass through easily. An example of a common conductor is copper. We use copper wire to be a conductor in the classroom. The opposite of conductor is an insulator. An insulator is a material that does not allow electricity to pass through it. A common insulator is rubber. You will often see rubber surrounding copper wire on most of your electronics. There are more terms that we are going to need to know, especially as we experiment with electricity and circuits in our classroom. For a bonus, can you find out what these terms mean? They are open circuit, closed circuit, dry cell, filament, and terminal. Have you figured it out? In the classroom, we will be making circuits to explore how electricity works. Circuits are defined as the pathway in which electricity flows. We can create two different types of circuits, closed and open circuits. A closed circuit is an electrical circuit in which electricity can flow because its path is complete. An open circuit is one in which the electrical path is broken and electricity cannot flow. Have you ever heard of the term dry cell before? Dry cell is actually another way to say battery. It's basically our power source from which our light bulb can be lit. The terminal is the ends of the dry cell, both positive and negative ends. You probably know from putting batteries in your electronic devices that batteries have positive and negative ends. The filament is a small metal part of the light bulb that gives off light as well as heat. You can see it clearly through the glass in the light bulb. More current, compact fluorescent light bulbs don't have a filament and give off light using a different method. However, the bulbs we experiment with in the classroom use electricity to illuminate the filament. Remember all of these important terms, especially as we start our unit on electricity. We have atom, including electron, proton, and neutron. Electricity, including static electricity and current electricity. Volt, conductor, and insulator. And circuit, including open circuit, closed circuit, dry cell, filament, and terminal. Quiz time! Let's see if you can answer some questions on these key terms. Test yourself by pausing when you hear the goat. 
Number one, what is an atom? And what are its three major parts? An atom is the smallest part of all matter. Its three major parts include the proton, neutron, and electron. Number two, what is the difference between current electricity and static electricity? Static electricity is when electrons gather on an object rather than flow. And current electricity is the flow of electrons through a circuit. Number three, which one creates a complete circuit? A closed or open circuit? A closed circuit is complete, whereas an open circuit is incomplete. Think of leaving that refrigerator door open. It lets out all the cold air and energy out. If you close that door, the energy is flowing right where you want it, in an enclosed area. Number four. What is the difference between a conductor and an insulator? A conductor is a material that allows electricity to pass through easily. An insulator is a material that doesn't allow electricity to pass through. Think of insulator as the thing that keeps energy in, like insulation in your house, to keep the heat in during winter. Number five, define a circuit. A circuit is a pathway in which electricity flows. So what exactly is electricity? It's the flow of electrical charges. Remember to come back to this podcast for a review at any time. Oh, <laughs>